Hi, everybody. My name is uh, Stefan. I'm the CEO of Vivici, and I just agreed with the other two Stefans to start a boy band, so <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> so uh, Vivici is a Dutch startup making uh, dairy proteins by fermentation. Uh, we are a B2B ingredient player, and we're part of the growing community of companies making animal protein in more sustainable and in more ethical ways. Uh, but I'm not here to pitch my company today. I thought I'd use this lightning talk for something different and share a thought about the precision fermentation industry with you. I believe that companies making animal protein by fermentation should be chasing customers, not costs. B2B precision fermentation companies need to master a deep value chain. But it is when customers and ingredients come together that value is created. It's there where we develop the premium value propositions around our ingredients. It is there where we work with the brand to build the great consumer stories that ultimately lead to the willingness to pay for those brands. But in our industry, there's a bit of an obsession with the supply chain and with cost, um, down to the point that there's this narrative that animal proteins from fermentation need to be at price parity with their animal-derived counterparts. But that doesn't make any sense. And here's why. The market for animal protein is so vast that even with the most bullish fermentation capacity scenarios, for the next coming years, we will only be able to solve a very small portion of that market. And so we should be focusing on those market segments where premium value propositions can be created for our ingredients, creating value and not chasing price parity. By the way, that little tip there, that little white tip, is enough to build multiple billion-dollar ingredient companies. So put differently, chasing price parity leads to premature commoditization of fermentation-derived ingredients and deprives the industry from the profitability that we need to take these ingredients mainstream. It doesn't make any sense. So based on that, three recommendations for precision fermentation companies. One. Don't be a biotech company, be an ingredient company instead. Two, obsess over your customers, not your supply chain. Invest into a strong food science team so that you really understand your ingredient and how to help your customer get the most out of that ingredient. And three, do chase cost parity, but do it to build the profitability that will help you take these ingredients mainstream. Thank you very much.